share screen start.
हेडफोन नका हेडफोन नका हेडफोन का पैसे भरा लगते धाराशिव श्वेता मैडम यू आर म्यूट प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ सो दैट वी कैन लिस्ट हियर यू देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम विथ द नेट कनेक्टिविटी so she is just changing her place to get the range friends adarsh college of arts and commerce is re accredited by nac bangalore with grade b++ having cgpa 2.84 in the year 2017 our college is also inc rbn qa certified in 2019 adarsh college of arts and commerce always takes initiatives 
and organizes various programs of academic values to the students and teachers. This year, our college is celebrating Silver Jubilee. So, there is a series of programs organized by our college. Now, it's our great pleasure to introduce the fountain of our inspiration, having academic experience of more than 38 years active, not only in Adarsh College, but in various fields and society. A lady with versatile personality, our principal, Dr. Vaidehi Daptardar Ma'am. May I invite you for the welcome address, Ma'am. Good morning, one and all. I hope I am audible. Am I? Patka sir, you can give me. Am I audible? Should I start? Hello. Good morning one and all. A very hearty welcome to each one of you for this five days web series for the students development. Honorable chief guest of today's function, Dr. Vijay Zoshi, our own CGC member, Mr. Ram, Ram, uh, uh, Rambo Patkar, all the attendees for this webinar and my dear colleagues. It has been the tradition of Adarsha College to engage into number of academic and extracurricular activities in order to give boost to the personality development of the students. And this is how in the Silver Jubilee year, we are continuing with series of academic and other programs. And this is in web series, the fifth of its kind, which is going on for five days. Friends, I was very happy to know that 2,242 students register for it and they are from various parts of the country including Oman and Abu Dhabi. I hope all of them have been able to join or sooner or later they will join. Friends, let me tell you when we are talking about developing the skills in digital era, we have to think in terms of certain <coughs> basic principles. I am coming out with four point techniques or mantras you may call so far as the success in life is considered. I will call it as Kash. What is Kash? K means knowledge. We need to gather a lot of knowledge. Yes, we are into the digital era and therefore we find that Lot of information is available on Google, which is our best friend. But that is just information. Unless you synthesize, analyze and use it and order it in a proper logical manner, it doesn't become the knowledge as such. Knowledge you have to get through reading, you have to get through your own experiences, your intuition and different ways. But knowledge is essential and knowledge era means that knowledge is wealth therefore we have to have knowledge of different things not only of our domain area but also of different kinds as such see in corona period almost every one of us has become the doctor we are coming out with number of solutions on our own trying this and that and trying to understand our own problems and solutions like that knowledge gathering is necessary Number two, I would say it is skills which are necessary. What is a skill? Skill is the ability of a person to perform certain act. And that skill is not just of your own competency about one particular field. 
but you need to have the skills of every type life skills you need to have the logical thinking skills you need to have critical thinking skills you need to have communication skills you need to have digital skills all the experts in the next 5 days would be talking to you about various skills you need to acquire abilities can be acquired skills can be acquired but mere knowledge and skills is also of no use people ask me madam to what extent to which group you belong i say i belong to the positive attitude group that's because i do not consider whether my glass is half full or full full it's not question of whether it is half empty or half half empty or half full but i consider at least i am having the glass in my hand how to fill it i will think in terms of filling it through different different ways and that is why what i need is my attitude and that attitude has to be very very positive one so we have got now knowledge attitude and skills but knowledge and skills will get joined only through attitude let's see a video which will explain us why attitude seems to be of so much significance one fork represents the knowledge the person has the another represent the skill a person need to possess and then knowledge and skills are individual to the person they live with him and die with him they cannot be passed on but they can be connected to the society or the organization through another agency called as a toothpick if you can see the forks are hanging free on the edge of the glass with a toothpick if you see 3/4 of the toothpick is outside the glass a small portion is inside the glass now what should happen if i burn the toothpick from inside watch carefully i start burning this toothpick what normally people expect is as the toothpick burns the wood burns and the whole fork should fall down it would not happen try to take another plastic i try to burn it the inside of the toothpick not to even if you take 20 matchsticks it will not burn beyond that if you observe carefully the toothpick is balancing on the edge of the glass which is not even 1 mm thick two heavy forks are balancing on that this is most important to us your knowledge and skills are important but what is most important is the attitude which connects you to society and your organization among the three things that i have glass fork and toothpick toothpick is fragile it can be burned that means in your life your attitude is more tested than your knowledge and skills so friends i feel you have got the significance of the knowledge skills and also the attitude but all this together you will find in the diagram h is there can you guess what this h stands for h stands for habits how do we form our habits habits is a matter of getting accustomed to something during corona period we have got accustomed to different new normal things we have stopped demanding in fact we are not getting anything from outside so we are eating our own home made food like that habits can be formed over a period of time and habits can also be changed purposefully deliberately if we really want to therefore what type of habits we develop these habits ultimately lead to our thoughts and these thoughts get reflected into our actions and these actions ultimately think uh, get converted into our character and the character forms the destiny of a person and ultimately the destiny of a nation is formed by the destiny of all of us each one individual from the society is so significant for the nation building so what i feel that it's never too late 
let's form the habits even if we have not thought of any skills we have not thought of gathering knowledge we have not so far develop a positive approach but yet today is the time when you have to think that yes i joined the student development program and i have got so many good things i am going to shape my future by changing my habits so that tomorrow i am not required to think that kaash mujhe ye pehle hi malum hota so i think that kaash is so sim simple and important for us that let us not follow the brands let's create our own brand each one of you is a brand let me take today's speaker's example only dr vijay vijay joshi is a scholarly person and he is a brand in himself so far as edu education is considered so let's not think of creating other brands or following other brands let's create our own brand let's be the leader of ourselves with this i conclude my welcome address but friends here is dr mr nandakumar patkar who is the member of our college governing council who would be inaugurating this particular five days webinar series let me welcome mr nandakumar ji for his well wishes and inaugural address मिस्टर पाटकर सर यस मी आपल्या सर्वांचं स्वरचे स्वागत करतोय हे वर्ष पंचवीस वर्ष आमचं पूर्ण झालेलं कॉलेजला परवानगी मिळून कॉलेजला पंचवीस वर्ष झालेले आहेत आणि अनेक कार्यक्रम आपण केलेले आहेत आणि त्यात आमच्या वैदही दप्तरदार मॅडम यांना तर खूप धन्यवाद द्यायला पाहिजे की त्यांनी नवीन नवीन कार्यक्रम ठेवले ज्यामुळे विद्यार्थ्यांचं बौद्धिक नॉलेज वाढते आणि मला असं वाटतं की अशा प्रकारचे कार्यक्रम करणारं आमचं कॉलेज हे पहिलं कॉलेज असेल आणि मला साठी आत्ता जो कार्यक्रम आयोजित केलेला आहे तो सर्वांचा फायदा उठवावा अशी मी आमच्या कॉलेजच्या वतीने आणि संस्थेच्या वतीने सर्वांचं स्वागत करतो आणि सगळ्यांना धन्यवाद देतो थँक यू व्हेरी मच पाथकर सर Yeah. The trustees of Adarsh Vidya Prasarak Sangstha have always been giving us the moral support, which helps us to go ahead and to plan for very innovative programs. Thank you very much, sir. Friends, Thank you. Let me call and request now Mrs. Swati Kapadia, who is the co-organizer for this five days student development program. She is from Forum of Free Enterprises. She is the CEO. having background of corporate service she has spent more than 11 years with icici and now she is heading swati kapadia so dr mrs swati kapadia madam hello am i audible yes yes okay yeah very good morning to all of you uh, i am sincerely thankful to dr vaidehi daptardar for taking this initiative of organizing something for the students students who are the future of our country students who need to have the pace to match up with these kind of uh, you know quick changes that are required like in the last 3 months we have seen such a big shift in how people interact how people em disseminate knowledge and how students gain knowledge so moving from one sphere to the other is what requires very new and say very innovative skills and giving that kind of exposure to students a truly commendable uh, dr daptarda congratulations to you thank you the uh, forum is very happy to associate with this program because as uh, is known to the teaching and the student fraternity the youth is at the core of our activities ever since forum uh, forum stand was vindicated in 1991 when liberalization came through 
Of course, forum was established way back in 1956 with the objective of propagating free enterprise and impressing about its importance in the democratic way of life. So forum kept doing this, uh, you know, creating public opinion, uh, having discussions and enabling uh, people to share their views on the importance and the relevance of free enterprise. And after 1991, free enterprise became a way of life with liberalization, globalization, and privatization. So thereafter, uh, there was one more avenue which Forum felt was very relevant, and that was to focus on the youth. And so with besides our other activities, we also started engaging with the youth through various programs like allocation competitions, essay competitions, all India essay competitions, and leadership training camps. Of course, arranging memorial lectures, which again is for the benefit of the youth, and having some very uh, knowledgeable people give their thoughts in form of articles, which are published as our booklets from time to time. You will be happy to know that we have been instrumental in uh, sharing the expertise of how leadership skills can be inculcated to over 50,000 students pan India. And we have reached to around 60 plus cities of the country where physically our trainers go and they impart these skills to the students. Now, today we are looking at a different set of skills. We're looking at digital skills. Because as you see today, we are also connecting through a digital media. So we are very happy to join that uh, fraternity where digitization is at the forefront. So with these few words, I once again welcome. I'm very happy to know that there is a huge amount of participation. And I can assure the participants that they will stand to gain immensely from our learned speakers because uh, I'm sure when they volunteer to come forward and address students, they will, they, it will be a wonderful combination of their head and their heart. So putting their heart into what their mind is, uh, you know, full of knowledge in their sphere, I think it's a win-win situation for all of us. So with these few words, I, I once again thank everybody for joining this program. And uh, do keep in touch with Forum of Free Enterprise. Our website is www.forumindia.org. And uh, we will be very happy to be your knowledge partners here on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, madam, for your kind words. And Adarsha College has been having the academic relations with the Forum of Free Enterprise for almost two and a half decades, and we are sure to continue it. Many of my students have been regularly attending the leadership development programs also, and we are happy to have this newly uh, program in collaboration with each other. Thank you very much for all your words. Now, let me introduce, ask uh, Ms. Shreyata to introduce Dr. Vijay Zoshi, our honorable guest for today's session. Good morning, friends. So, friends, as we all know, digital skills are the skills which enhance technological advances and provides 
new way of working creatively which in turn enhances greater employability as it is said skills pay your bills here i am very proud to introduce our honorable chief guest and a great personality dr vijay joshi a versatile personality dr vijay joshi who has worked as jt director in in charge at rusa and currently he is chief consultant rusa maharashtra many of you may be knowing rusa stands for rashtriya uchchatar shiksha abhiyan he has contributed to higher educational policies he was nominated by the honorable chancellor as the dean of science and technology university of mumbai he was chairman of the board of studies of environmental science university of mumbai he has worked as the nominee of honorable chancellor on the academic council university of mumbai he was a member of management council for 4 years in university of mumbai he was a member of board of examination and finance committee to the university of mumbai dr vijay joshi has worked on various governing bodies local management committees of different colleges he has 35 years of teaching experience in undergraduate and post graduate in zoology he has worked as head of department of zoology and vice president of billa college he was principal of kg somaya college of science and commerce autonomous he is an able administrator under his stewardship somaya college has garnered major grants and started new innovative programs under his leadership the somaya college has received star college status under dbt grants under first o level by dst the best college award by university of mumbai under urban category and college with potential for excellence by ugc he has traveled extensively to various countries as researcher and academician he has presented and published research papers he has written articles in marathi newspapers magazines he has rare distinction various working under committees like exam reforms committee he has helped to establish first cluster university in the country he is self proclaimed ambassador of academic autonomy and has assisted many colleges during their transition to autonomy he was convener to indian science congress and co convener of core committee of indian youth science congress held at the university of mumbai he has immense creative talent and directed television serials advertisements and popular commercial plays his plays and directorial effort has received various prestigious awards like dinanath mangeshkar award consecutively for 3 years he is known for his oratory skills and delivery popular lectures on various subjects in prestigious conferences and vyakhyan mala dr vijay joshi is an academician and able at academic administrator and unassuming creative person so my dear friends i am really happy to introduce before you one of the best creative and versatile personality dr vijay joshi a warm welcome to dr vijay joshi thank you <clears throat> so you may start thank you thank you i think i just i, I would about about to wait to where you calling me for this thank you thank you very much and i hope uh, I, you can hear me or listen me whatever you are doing uh, thank you very much the young india who is going to change the entire face of this nation by the power which they have uh, dr dr ram dr rambau patkar uh, 
ज्यांच्या महाविद्यालयाचं सिल्वर जुबली आता होत आहे आणि त्यांच्या सुरुवातीच्या गाण्यामधले दोन ओळी मला खूप भावल्या की भोग के वातावरण मे त्याग का संदेश देंगे भोगाच्या वातावरणात त्यागाचा संदेश देणारं हे आदर्श महाविद्यालय आहे फोरमच्या मॅडम ज्यांनी मग अशा आपल्याशी स्वाती कपाडी या मॅडम ज्यांनी आपल्याशी संवाद साधला आणि वेगवेगळ्या कारणांसाठी आदर्श महाविद्यालयातून वेगवेगळ्या पद्धतीचे कार्यक्रम राबवणाऱ्या माय व्हेरी कलीग डॉक्टर दप्तरदार थँक यू व्हेरी मच फॉर गिव्हिंग दिस चान्स टू इंटरॅक्ट विथ यंगस्टर्स आय ऑलवेज बीन ऑबसेस बाय टॉकिंग टू दिस यंगस्टर्स बिकॉज आय फील दॅट दे आर गोईंग टू चेंज द फेस ऑफ अवर नेशन दे आर गोईंग टू चेंज इन द कमिंग डेज दे आर गोईंग टू चेंज द एंटायर वर्ल्ड इज कमिंग टू अवर कंट्री and entire world is telling us that india is going to become a super power in coming days and this is only possible because of a strength innovative ideas of these youngsters who are listening to me so thank you very much madam for organizing this kind of a workshop a student development workshop i think faculty development people keep on doing it people listen to all those webinars they will get the certificate they will keep the certificates i think addressing to the youth is what is required and i congratulate swati kapadia madam and vaidhi madam for arranging this not only one session but a series of sessions in order to talk to the young young indians uh, i would like to share my presentation if you allow me so that uh, i can take you through uh, my thoughts uh, in the 45 minutes which are given to me so i think everyone is speaking that the world is changing everything is changing around us and the civilization has seen the pace of change no earlier civilization has seen the pace of change is so tremendous that everything is changing around us and in this pace of change i think we need to change very quickly and if we need we have to change as madam has rightly pointed out you know should have knowledge you should have skill you should have attitude and and this will get transcribed into the productive young indians so this in this student developing program i will like to present in front of you developing skills in digital era how the things have changed we are facing a pandemic a huge pandemic and i think all around us entire countries are devastating the life we are losing lives we are hold up in a lockdown in this kind of a situation and in this virtual platform around 2000 young students they are listening to us about what is going to happen in future the reactions which we do the decisions which we take is going to change the way we live in future this pandemic is going to teach us several different things what is happening in this pandemic there is no world leadership the entire world leadership is becoming selfish and what is happening in india we are talking about jaan hai jahan hai jaan bhi jahan bhi do gaj ki duri hai zaruri and now we are saying that we must live with this corona corona ke sath jeena sikhe sikhna padega i think it's a it's a wonderful exercise in which last in a 20th 28th century there are several pandemic we have seen and this they ha all have passed and this too will be pass this too will be pass in your lifetime you at least have heard about h1 h1 n1 swine flu west africa ebola and zika virus we could not eliminate the viruses from the face of earth there are only two viruses which we could able to eliminate all these viruses which are still there around us and we have started living with them smallpox and polio we could able to eradicate from our country and other viruses are still there the question is whether this is the fear of infodemic in which we are going to live or we are going to face this pandemic that is what is the question the human spirit is indomitable human spirit you can just imagine a girl taking her father on a bicycle and traveling 1200 kilometers to go to the her village 
this is the kind of spirit young india has and i think this over dominating human spirit we will come over this pandemic also and we are start going to start living the literate of a future are not those who can read and write everybody everyone can read and write but those who cannot learn to unlearn there are several things which we have learned during this course of time we need to unlearn those things and unlearning these things becomes very very important there is always two two sides of the coin the world is changing as i told you there is an ai machine learning things are changing very fast and people are saying there are techno optimist and techno pessimist the techno pessimist they keep on saying that there will be nonsense class they cannot contribute to the economies and uh, unless you keep on changing the skill sets which you have you cannot contribute to the economies and there are techno optimists who keeps on saying that industrial revolution has come and gone we have lived with it computer revolution has come and gone we have lived with it let us see what happened in the computer revolution 1975 1990 i vividly remember everyone was saying every industry from banking to hoteling everybody was saying if the computers they come they will take away our jobs and i know george fernandes at that time has thrown ibm out of our country because there was a fear that the computers will take over all our jobs but what has happened in 1990 i think when our prime minister rajiv gandhi ji has got computers to the to the indians we started exporting software no we started exporting software at that time also people were started blaming us saying that you are a software coolies you are doing some drudgery for somebody else this was the comment look at 2005 and 2000, 2020 the indian indians have become a knowledge superpower every young indian has acquired the skill about writing software and all over the world indians are contributing to this knowledge superpower i think things will keep on changing i have i am a hopelessly optimistic person revolutions will come and go the spirit of indians they will always strive very hard to overcome this revolution and work around this revolution so that we can make maximum use of the revolution which is happening so if if you technology to my mind is the gift of a god after the gift of a life it is perhaps the greatest gift of the god it is a mother of civilization of arts and science now yes robots will take over our jobs ai will take over our jobs machine learning will keep on doing singularity has come that the the machine brain has now reach the human brain we can talk to machine machine can start thinking it has gone to the extent that the machines which are been trained by ai are now a part of a board room of one of the company as a member as a board member and keep on predicting what is going to happen to the company that is the level of machine learning has gone to is the singularity university and i think everybody uh, must listen to all the prediction because there is a huge lot of futurologists they keep on predicting what is going to happen in the world not on the basis of uh, just on the basis of a research papers which are available today they predict how the world is going to look in future every mnc is now keeping a futurologist so that their products should not become redundant and these futurologists and one of them my favorite is ray cruzwell now this ray cruzwell keep on talking about small robots entering into our blood streams and correcting diseases we have a wearable device now we can we can keep on monitoring our heart rate we can take ecgs there are wearable device now all these devices become so small and they go inside so there are two things which are happening biotechnology revolution and computational revolution and because of these two things once they marry with each other i think the world will look like a science fiction to so his predictions 98% of his predictions which he has done in 1990 have come true gone on those days of more slow 
the computational speed will keep on increasing that what that it was said now he says it is going to increase exponentially but while it is increasing exponentially it is going to become cheap very 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 cheap so i think we need to look at these technologies and we need to look at the skills which we need need to acquire in order to use these technologies for the benefit of our country and i'm i'm sure the young indians will will be doing it uh, i know that the drudgery jobs small jobs menial jobs they will go but then there is an high order thinking the jobs which requires more creativity the jobs which are which will keep on contributing and there, therefore whatever small jobs they will take over by the machine and our brains will be easily spare to have an high order jobs and there i think i means arts and science uh, mother of a civilization of arts and science that is what i mean the world is changing and madam has also mentioned the world is changing which were in the agricultural age earlier and who were having a huge land bank was very very rich in the agricultural age then came an industrial age and you know tatas and birlas and chryslers and fords they were having machinery they become rich then came an technological age where technology has taken over and technocrats they started becoming rich and now the even a knowledge age has passed bill gates age also has passed now we are in a innovation age in a innovation age i think the youngest person can become a billionaire and i know the billionaires at the age of 14 and 15 they will keep on creating a app which is sold on a, a, a app store and they keep on earning money the the thought process the idea becomes very very important and you know zuckerberg not only to save his life there are millions of millions of dollars are spent every month i think that's the that's the kind of money he gathers do you know how much amount of the entire our digital activity which you do on on the web uh, if somebody wants that 420 dollars are required for the entire activity of a month which you are doing it's it is a sellable commodity and you have heard uh, how the analytica has changed the world uh, and th- there is a crisis there are questions now the critical questions are being asked about how to use uh, this data privacy and how this data privacy will become important in the other age so if if you want to use the power of a youth i think we need to make their mindset their mindset innovative mindset and indians are innovative i, I will be coming to that point afterwards there are disruptive exponential technology and i think uh, dr masharkar has written a wonderful article uh, when he says that around 70% of the jobs in china and 47% of the job in usa and huge number of a job they will vanish from this earth this exponential technology and industry 4 which he says that internet of things artificial intelligence robotic robot uh, robotics process automation virtual augmented and mixed realities sensors 3d printing 3d visualization mobile internet and cloud big data analytics open data and blockchain these are the exponential technologies which are going to disturb the entire way in which we do activities in this world these are 10 disruptive technologies big data now automated artificial intelligence now gone on the days that the deep blue has now uh, can fight with n number of chess masters and they hands down wins it as i as i told you that human it, the machine has reached to the human intelligence level and that 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 the time has not far that we will be as our mobiles we will be putting our memory outside then this is a prediction which ray cruz will takes the nano material biotechnology next generation genomics now you can design your own babies and your own pets the way you want uh, terahertz imaging now without looking at, uh, from the without opening the cover of the book you can read page number 700 of the book or without looking at anything of a big dam you can find out a cracks in the dam by terahertz imaging technology 
the autonomous vehicle has started running all over so all those drivers job or truck drivers jobs are going to go in coming future there is a next generation energy storage everyone wants a mobile phone with 10 hours battery 20 hours battery and this energy storage device uh, is taking care so energy storage is one area which is going to disturb in coming days 3d printing is now in thing all the parts of automobile are now printed instead of no you you make a prototype then it is given then it is casted and then uh, it comes into instance now the computer can simulate the way you want thousands of design and then tell you what is the efficiency of this design and you can print it at the 3d printing level these are the kind of a disruptive technology and this disruptive technology we we have faced this disruptive technology in our lifetime we don't know the technology is like a cat it keeps on coming inside your house you keep on moving her out but she will definitely come inside like so all these technologies have now invaded the entire our life think of a cable operators they have gone now video streaming is the key thing everybody must be looking at netflix the 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 distribution of movie was changed earlier movies I know in when I was in a college, there was a reels which will keep on moving from one theater to another theater. And I think one theater will start a movie at 12 o'clock, other will start at 12.30 because the reels are carried from one theater to another theater. In fact, I have seen in the Jatras, when they the reels they will change, there was intermission. And there are seven intermission because every time the reel change, there is a interval. Now, now, from that kind of a technology, think of digitalizing entire content. And at that time, at every movie theater, there was only one movie which keeps on running from 12 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9. Now you have a different movie because the digital technology has taken over. All the content of the movie is now digitalized and it can be streamed at 3,000 theaters in, in the entire world. And the movie releases... So, and it, it becomes blockbuster on the Saturday or Sunday. No, the, uh, the movie used to release in one sector, then it used to release in the other sector. Now that has gone. And now even going digitally, going to theater has gone because of this pandemic, theaters are closed. Now we are looking, now the movies are released on Netflix, like kind of OTT platforms. So the see what went out, what came in. Radios are out. The way we consume music, now, I know when I, I became a lecturer, I think I got a tape recorder. And then there was a, there used to be cassettes. And I, I think the youngsters even not seen the cassettes, right? The LP pair players, there, there is a, this huge big disc which keeps on making music. Now, it has, it has changed drastically. Then you have a CDs, Blu-rays, and now you have music apps which will keep on streaming music all the, all the way in your mobile. No, your mobile now has got so many uh, songs that you can keep on listening for years together. Encyclopedia has gone. There is a Wikipedia. Desktop computers have gone. There is a smartphone. Clinics have gone. There is a telemedicine camera. It, we, there used to be, you know, we used to go to trip, picnics, click camera, give that role. The role was... It, the washing of roll used to take place and we were used to wait for those photographs to come. Now, every every youngster goes in a hotel, has a pizza and keeps on sharing it on the social media, having a great pizza today. I think the digital photo... And mind well, all these companies which were making roll, they were knowing about digital photography, but they could not visualize how the change is going to happen in future. So everything is changing. All those white bulbs have gone, transparent bulb, incandescent bulb, and LEDs and CLFs have taken place. Hotel chains have gone. People keep on booking directly from Airbnb. So these are the disruptive technologies and changes. Who have made these changes? These youngsters. I hope everybody, all, at least all youngsters, they identify all, all of them who, who just changed the world they look like. So it is not earning more money. You know, there is a comp there was a competition between a Microsoft uh, and Steve Jobs, Apple. Apple was in a doordums. It was about to close. It was having a huge financial loss. Do you know what has happened? A competitor, Microsoft, 
they gave money to steve job in order to survive and now you know uh, where is apple today so it is not a competition you compete fine but the ideas they win and that's that is how the world is changing look at these technologies every youngster is using these technologies and it has happened just over 10 15 years now people are talking about virtual reality and augmented reality do you know that now the gaming is a in thing people keep on earning more money in gaming than films and entertainment now the gaming is becoming so popular in com- in, in in the world today so these things have changed and they they are going to change now we look at the this generation who are listening to me today they never know a world without internet there are two types of distinct divide before internet and after the internet we are all digital they are all you all are digital native now we are digital migrant we were not knowing internet and internet came into existence in front of us now all the youngsters they cannot think anything about internet if i ask address my daughter will say uh, alibagu nal iska which is not, not a good term she said that gps hai na so i think people they, they are become very tech savvy they are constantly in contact 24/7 using facebook and twitter they expect information very quickly they have they will find answers through google youtube flickr they will keep on the, they are low tolerance the patience has gone now if the page cannot load they will get out of it they, they use youtube instead of reading so there is change the world has changed think on the platform marketplace ikea was established in 1943 now this ikea uh, big uh, store is coming in mumbai they keep on selling everything and anything from furniture to household goods now it take 30 years to invade europe but when they go on, they, they went online and they started marketing their things on a platform they become 42 million us dollar company in no time alibaba uh, you know jack ma who started alibaba in china he was not knowing even computer he went to some place he saw computer and internet connectivity he started with an idea in 1 million user in 2 years and he has 9 million online merchants who are selling a product on the platform economy 700 million us dollars now you can think of a platform marketplace which we all are used to now flipkart amazon alibaba what not no all youngsters are using uh, ola uber uh, swiggy zomato i think they are the names the, all these aggregators where services are coming together no offices very small offices not big offices they want to spend and see the ott media platforms which have come into it. there are several i have taken few which which have come now think of a gig economy now the economy is changing and there is something called as gig economy how the things are changing there is a frequent job changes now we at our time once i start teaching i have retired as a teacher so in all my life i have taken only one job i i know my subject i teach i earn money and i retire youngsters will have to keep on switching job at least 10 in their lifetime and every job will require a different kind of a skill sets people are doing 10 part time jobs every week today there are no permanent jobs but there are jobs available who are coming up front so they all all as called as this these are all menial jobs which are called as gig economy those uh, people who keep on serving us so uh, there is a lot of talk which is of a fortune at the bottom of the pyramid so all those people who work in the malls who work with zomato we work so there are several job opportunities which is available at the bottom of the pyramid also but there will be lot of jobs which are available on the top of the pyramid if you change your mindset and reinvent yourself there are human clouds and i think that have gone to such a extent that humanized surveillance is now is in thing they wear something and the, their master keep on looking at their location keep it looking how much time they spend to talking to each other 
keep it so increasing the efficiency of these people which are at a remote place the technology and ai has helped when is in humanized surveillance has come into existence there are a huge cadre of a youngsters they say that work where wifi is so i need not have to work to go to office i keep on working wherever there is an wifi so i know couples which keeps on changing their location every month and travel across the globe and still keep on contributing to their job you require a wifi so you have a uh, you have a rented house and a, a small office outside or you go to a cafeteria where a similar kind of a nomadic uh, workers digital nomads they come together world is their workplace and they keep on working together and enjoying life by traveling across the country so i think things are changing and i was just wanted to give you uh, the sense which has been changing you do you know we started very late as a cashless india and kapadia madam will appreciate this that we have so many financial lifeline we started integrating few years back and think of a payment apps which are available you know better than me in fact now the whole transaction is 69168 million increasing 28% year on year there are 600 million users increasing 12.6% year on year so i think the india also is becoming an, a cashless india where uh, digital currency is going to become in thing so i was looking at several white papers in order to prepare for this session and a scary picture is sketched in of in front of all of us what is that scary picture the scary picture is 75 million jobs will disappear the world economic forum has come up with a special report in 2000 last year only about the future of jobs and i think it's a wonderful document of 145 pages worth reading document every mckinsey all these big companies consulting companies have come up Uh, with certain kind of con- cognizant certain kind of a new jobs which are going to be big in in future and i was reading this 75 million job will disappear but the important thing is 133 million job will be created so some job will go but 133 million jobs will be created and i think they have given a wonderful statistics what has happened in 2 3 years time and how the jobs have changed and i am going to talk in the next segment but the first segment was how the things were changing all around us my next segment which who was going to survive and how to survive in this economy the upskill continuously is the mantra every person if if i i know if if this 133 million jobs which will be created if you will not change your skills and learn new skills you will not be part of this 133 million jobs then of course you will be in the in the in the nonsense class which is not useful to the economy and people will keep on paying you not not to go on a job no so this social network will be such that the jobless people will be paid in order to survive because you need to have a consumers as well so there is a huge debate which is going on about a social network all around the world so if you change the way uh upskill yourself you will become a part of this big uh, economic push so every person will need to replace 42% of the current skill sets 42% means 50% of what you have learned you need to unlearn and relearn it means the life span of any skill which is acquired it just 18 months it evaporates and because of a disruptive technologies something new comes which you need to learn so every person need to get 101 days upskilling every every 3 years 101 days so if you're 3 years time you have to reskill yourself in 101 days if you acquire new skill today after 1 and 1/2 years you need to upskill yourself so the skill are a new currency and learning is new oxygen in olden times we kept on saying lifelong learning you know lifelong learning uh, is what in indians uh, have been told to do all their life now this lifelong learning 
is going to become a reality. It is not that you acquire some skill. As I have learned zoology as a subject, I start teaching. I retired as a teacher. That is not going to happen. Even teachers have to change. They have to learn new skills in order to stay uh, into the uh, economic activity. So learning is a new oxygen. I am just giving you a sense of how the future job is going to look like. Robot manufacture and service management. You will have a robot who is going to manufacture. As mobile phones they came, who is going to maintain the mobiles was a question. Raw material management. No, people become wealthy. China become wealthy, and all the raw material which is there in the world, they started importing, and they are storing that raw material. So that raw material management will become a big thing. Big data scientists, AI, of course, uh, it is a sitter. Uh, it, no, nobody has to forecast it. It is there. Artificial bodies manufacturing is a job which is going to come into future. Do you know the e-sport is a greatest thing today? Forget about all the sports in you know, cricket and hockey, but the e-sports team have been purchased by people like the Shah Rukh Khan purchased one cricket team. The e-sports teams have been purchased by millionaires, and these e-sports have become a very very popular. You 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 serve rich because rich always will require. something different than the ordinary so private service for rich gig workers as i told you earlier psychologists and therapists will be required because this pace with which the world is moving you will have a more and more psychological problems gene designer for babies and pets now you can design your own baby saying that i want gray hairs blue eyes tall strong all that gene editing Casper is a new technology which has come where the genes can be edited. Cyber security and private data brokerage. No, whatever is given free today, as as an email, as I told you, if if suppose I am using a free email and if I type camera in that email, suddenly an advertisement pops up when I next time open my email about the camera on the side, because they somebody is watching you. The big brother is watching you. Every click. you do the big brother is you watching your movement and then capturing what it so they, they push the advertise which is want so private data brokerage means if you want to use my personal data you have to give me something not only free email but something more as i told you 420 dollars was a cost entertainment will be always there but actors will be more they they they, they will be very very costly so now people are started making this humanoid actor into uh, into into caricatures kind of a thing and that is selling real estate developers and most important elderly care and end of life management because life expectancy will go up you will have huge number of elderly people india is young country but entire world is becoming old they have already taken admission in old age home now who is going to manage them and who is going to be with them till their end of life now these are the some kind of a job now i was looking at the cognizant and they have a center for future of work and they have been doing it uh doing it all these years and every 3 years they come up with certain type of a job they have a job specification they job advertisement and Uh, they say that this is going to be future job and right now last 3 years whatever they have predicted have come into existence now this is a prediction for 2029 so uh, this is a prediction for a future they say juvenile crime are will improve so much that you will have a rehabilitation counselor this is a kind of a job which is low in tech low to mid tech mean technology not high end technology joy adjutant vertical form consultant not an horizontal form the vertical form consultant head of a business behavior how business behaves that is head of a business behavior chief purpose planner no people will not have a purpose to life so they will have to they they will have somebody will have to tell them this is a purpose of your life so there's a chief purpose planner uni for life coordinator so you you go to university how to which university how to deal with the university so there are the coordinator subscription management specialist now you keep on subscribing everywhere 
So there are specialists who will keep on giving you guidance where you will get a maximum benefit after subscription. E-sport arena builder. It's a virtual space arena builder where e-sports, as I told you earlier, will become very, very popular. Tide water architects. You know, the, the waves which will come, they have been designed. No, this is just, it looks like uh, science fiction, but it is not science fiction. It is really going to happen in coming days. So mid to high tech job, algorithm bias auditor, smart home design manager. So all homes will be smart. You know now, if you clap, the lights are on. If you clap, you, you are traveling and you want to go home. The uh, oven is on. And I think the fridge, no, all these gadgets are now, in, in, because of an internet of things, they are connected. So you can keep on using them distantly. Machine, uh, machine risk officer, fly car developer, voice UX designer, head of machine personality design. The machine will have a personality and to give that personality, the cyber calamity forecaster. I think there will be more cyber attacks and somebody has to forecast when the cyber attack will take place. Virtual ident identifying defender and cyber attack agents where they, you, you have to go and attack somebody. Now, if these are the jobs, now this becomes a very, uh, you, you will see that this is just like in science fiction. But I think it will come into existence. And if they are the jobs, these are the skills we need to acquire. Creativity and thinking will become at most important or anything else. People, they say that Indians, they cannot do innovation. I'm sorry, Indians can do innovation. Indians are doing innovation for others right now. There's a wonderful TED talk, which is given by Nirmalya Kumar, who has seen how Indians keep on innovating. Now, people, they say that you Indians can do good mathematics, you're good accountants, you can write code, but you cannot innovate. Where is Made in India product? There is no Made in India product. You Only Made in India product is yoga, which you export to the entire world. But if you see, the Indians have been employed. So they wanted to find out whether the Indians are productive. So they have done an exercise and they have done some research. Silicon Valley. And every manager in a Silicon Valley was Indian. They asked him, uh, have you studied in India or you have studied in the West? They said, no, we are studied in India. So then uh, how can you innovate? The patents which they have filed are, are mind boggling. Then they say that, okay, they went abroad, they have got a conducive environment so they can innovate. So they started coming home to in Gurgaon, in Delhi, in Mumbai, in Bangalore. Now there are MNC shops are opened here and young Indians are working there in this MNC shop. For example, Boeing 707, the, in, in a low light, when the Boeing starts landing, the software of that Boeing is done by in a Hyderabad or in a Bangalore by Indian engineers. Microsoft, 25 engineers in a team of a Microsoft, they were Indian. The, now, IBM has got more Indians than any country. Now, Indians are doing innovation for others. Now, this software which has been innovated by Indians for 707, the, the patent lies in the name of Boeing 707. They started then comparing patents. The patents which are filed in India by the MNCs and patents which are filed in abroad. And they found out they're equally good. So now the Indians have to think not to innovate for others, but innovate for ourselves. And that's why creativity and thinking become important. Critical thinking and problem solving become important. And the critical thinking ability of a student. Communication and the collaboration. These are the skills which becomes very, very important. And I will be giving you seven skills in the end, which are of the survival kit. Information literacy. It doesn't mean that going on a web is an information literacy or a media literacy or ICT literacy. It is an information and media skill. How to use this information, as Madam was saying, in order to use this information, that becomes an information literacy. Life catering skill, flexibility and adaptability. We are very stern. We have to be flexible and adaptive. Adaptability, adap uh, adaptation is the only key. People, they don't take initiative. No, we go work in a, in a job. Whatever is said, we do it very diligently. But we don't take 
initiative, a self direction in order to contribute even in our companies, and that becomes a very very important skill. This time will come that only you are not going to work in an Indian team. There will be some Japanese, some other countries. So I think the cultural skill becomes very very important. Productivity and accountability skill. and leadership and responsibility skill become a leader then only you can uh, survive in the 21st century so my solution my uh, prescription is critical thinking problem solving collaboration across all network no only thing network huge network now you can just think uh, of all those doing business in maharashtra any community you take they have a network they will help each other and then they will establish they will be in the same business but we i think indians have to adapt uh, the agility and adaptability agile for the change which is happening around us and adopt according to that change as i told you initiative is is very important and most important effective writing skill and oral skill we we are very weak many young indians are very weak assessing and analyzing information not only knowing is important it is important what you can do with what you know i think that's far more important curiosity and imagination and most important is emotional intelligence uh, uh, i i i keep on uh, uh, listening to this fact i know why, why i have not heard you no know, people the youngsters they come to us and they keep on telling us we are in depression i have not listened this depression word uh, till my college time but now seven standard six standard they are depressed i don't know why but then that heroine she said that i was depressed and i have attended and she claimed and there's a fashion people start i think the emotional intelligence when you under your under stress how you can survive and that's very very important and most importantly flexibility in cognitive skills is important which i think uh, will become so in order to have a culture of innovation we need to go from individual art achievement to the collaboration specialization to problem based multidisciplinary learning risk avoidance then trial and error you keep on trying innovation also will only come with a trial so if you have a, to have a culture of innovation among youngsters these are the, so there is a resilience of a self confidence that comes after surviving a failure if you fail you learn something instead of you do you avoid a risk then you cannot innovate consuming knowledge then creating knowledge then only the innovation can happen and the motivation has to be from within it is an intrinsic motivation that manage not an extrinsic motivation from not outside you will get good marks you get good scale then you will get good salary no think of steve jobs he wanted to create the whole world different and think he has not he has not thought of uh, how it is going to sell he keeps on improving the iphone every now and then and they, there's now now all those days have gone where the people are wearing tie he used to come in a t-shirt oh, casual where he keep only only aim is innovate innovate and innovate further and think of what where apple has come so my mantra is a lifelong learning world will change world will change and change very fast we have to change and in order to change upskill continuously is the key then you will survive in this changing world which looks like a science fiction uh thank you very much madam for giving me this chance to interact with all these youngsters and i hope i made my point uh so my entire discussion was how things are changing what is going to happen in future and what are the skills which are required uh the stu the students or youngsters who are listening to me i think will going to make this change and upskill themselves every now then and adapt themselves uh and change the world not only the country but the entire world and contribute to the nation and we will have more and more men in india product which will so atmanirbhar bharat vocal for local these are the mantras our prime minister has given made in india make in india all these mantras they he believes in youngsters and i hope 
these youngsters will change the world in coming days. Thank you, thank you very much for giving me this wonderful chance to inaugurate the, the six day sessions. And I uh, wish all the best to Adarsha College and congratulations for your Silver Jubilee celebration. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Over to Vedai, ma'am. Thank you very much, sir, for giving a very broad canvas of the things. Change is the only constant thing which everyone is going to experience and have been experiencing for long. I am very much thankful to you for bringing about such a vast change as such and giving them the canvas of changes. There are number of questions which the students are ready with. I am sure Shreta will take over for the question answer session. Hello friends. Thank you so much sir for this creative session. We will now move ahead with question and answer session. So all my friends who have posted their questions, we will take one of few of them. So I think uh, we'll have to take we'll have to take uh, very few selective questions because I have a session which is waiting for me yes, uh, because I have given a time from 11 to 12 12 15. Yes, yes, sir, yes sir. only two, 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 three. And I think I, I think if you can write to uh, of course two three questions you can take definitely please select okay, the question okay, and tell. Okay, sir, few questions only two or three questions. According to you, sir, updation of technology is required within 120 or 180 days. But a person who constantly searched the job, if unable to get the job for a year, again technology becomes updated. So in that case, how to manage this problem, sir? Right. The, the, he is saying that if I am not getting a job, how can I improve my, my skills? That's what he's saying. So I think if you are not getting a job, you have to create a job. So that's the answer. So I think you have to become an entrepreneur in order to create a job. So if it's a, it's a quest 22 situation. Everybody will start hunting for a job who is going to become a job giver. I think probably change in mindset if you are looking for a certain cozy job on the basis of the skills which you have. And if you are not getting it, I think you will have to survive in order to, in order to survive, you will have to change yourself. Yeah, sir. Thank you so much, sir. That's even, that is really required. Uh, so one more thing. Uh, in this developed country, we are tell, we are always uh, thinking of updated technology. But people in rural area where the technology is not that available for them, so how they will be coping up with this new skills or new uh, technology updation? Because many uh, rural students has to come up with solutions. So how for them what you will be giving us a suggestion? So sure, uh, I think in my opinion any wonderful innovation the innovation will come from the rural students only because they are more innovative than their metro counterpart i think you have to think of the grassroots level innovation innovation does not require a jazzy buildings innovation does not require you have to remain in a confine of an huge campuses Innovation requires a mindset. I can give you a small example. An uh, innovator was asked to innovate. A Swedish innovator was asked to innovate. And he said they, they gave, gave him a wire. Now, this gentleman who kept on moving that wire, tweaked that wire into something, and now it has become a paper clip. The clip which you use is an innovation which has done from the wire. So, innovation is something different the use which can which can the, the wire is now used as a paper clip so it is a different use altogether innovation doesn't mean research innovation can happen in every walk of life and i think probably it has come from the rural segment now reaching technology this is another thing i was reading a wonderful book which which talks about uh, uh, data wise it is it says a data wise now, why all those people uh, who who are from a rural segment have uh, have a 
desire to learn they shine when they when they come out because i think their desire is so uh, so strong that they can overcome any issues which they have so innovation will come from the rural areas only no availability of a technology can be an hurdle availability of but then uh, i was reading a data wise book and you have always have a gotten complimentary views there are all developed so can you tell me whether the poverty in the entire world is reducing or the poverty is increasing 78% people will say that poverty is there and it is decreasing day by day the statistics tells us that the 50% elevation of a poverty in the entire world has happened because we keep on thinking only into two segments black or white tele density in india can you just imagine kind of a tele density this country has i think you will have to find the answer to the techno technology you have to find the answer to for the use of a technology if a technology is not reaching you you have to make effort to reach to a technology so, and a shared technology it is not that ownership of a mobile phone i am not using all the uh, features of a mobile phone which i am used right now i think are in order to come forward personality dr vijay joshi for giving us immense knowledge on how to enhance our digital skills and grab the right opportunity so you have provided us with 21st century skills like information literacy ict and life and career skills so you have not only shared the insights on various topics but also gave us new direction on how to grab new opportunities so we are really thankful to you for sparing your valuable time with us and virtually guiding us on employability and digital skills thank you thank you so much sir now friends coming to our tomorrow session we are sharing a video of case study in the webinar group everyone should go through it and be prepared for tomorrow's session tomorrow session will be a case study based session which is on skills to succeed in digital era by mr raghav narsale md accenture research requesting everyone to fill the feedback link which will be provided in our webinar group so to all my friends we will be meeting tomorrow sharp at 11 am in the morning till then good day good bye have a wonderful nice day ahead thank you namaskar सब चैट बॉक्स से मैं ना चैट